guys, you already know where I am. We're at the Port de Soda Fishing Pier. We're about to throw some pompano jigs, some live fiddler crabs, and some shrimp. See what we can catch. We're going for mangrove sniper sheep's head, pompano, we'll see. Trying to get on some fish. Catch you there. Up and down the whole pier are just loads and loads of huge greenbacks. Look at all those guys. Those are big ones too. Big green bags. Greenback, cigar minnows, a lot of different bait fish. I don't see any fish attacking them though. Just the bait fish, no. No predatory fish, that's weird. Let's see if we can find some. But that is crazy, up and down the whole pier, just loads of greenbacks. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see through the GoPro, but they're like, they're two or three big snook. Snook or redfish, just chilling right below all that bait. See if I can put through my polarized glasses. Look at that, three, three or four big snook or redfish right below all this bait. Oh, two big ones, big snook over there. Oh my God. There's a huge snook over there. Just we can't fish right here but oh my god that looks like a log but it just moved look at that it's a big snook it's crazy look at all that bait look at all the snook just can't fish right here that's crazy guys we're not catching anything either come on over ah. I'm gonna try to catch some sheep's head. Put on some very light leader, yeah. so. Yep. They can't see it. You see him? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, there's two of them. No. Yep. They're just eating barnacles. Yeah. Yep. Just have your buddy, your buddy come down with his bowl and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like two or three of them there. I see two. Yeah. Yep. I did it before and I got one. Nice. If you go to Mary's here and use barnacles, Oh, then they get into a feeding frenzy. Yes. Yep. Yes. That, in the, in the middle, then boom, down. Yep. That big bridge over by Pensacola. I seen guys. They went out to the actual highway bridge mm -hmm. with their kayaks, and yeah, they just took their nice expensive paddle. I got one. Yeah. No way. Oh, you need Can a pier net. Uh, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, might as well get the pier net. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's a nice one. Of course, it's all tied up. So yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to risk the. Well, it's sheep. Uh, I think yeah. it's a that's, that's, that's nice. Oop, there we there go. You go. That's a nice one. What's the thing on those 15 inches now? Oh, did Florida change it? I'll check my regs. But well, thank you. It was 12 in Florida. It could be. Damn, that's Texas a nice sheep set. Yeah, that's that's got to be a, a keeper. Yeah, that's what we. we Look at the teeth on that guy. Oh my god. Look at the teeth on them. Oh, yes. That's why they call them sheep's head because they got teeth like a sheep. Look at that. Yep. Sight fish, though. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they're not. They look like No, they are Sheep's head. Hey, all right. 12 yes, inches. 12? Yeah, he's. he's. It's got to be more than 12. I probably got a tape measure. Yep, eight. Cool. Total measurement. That's a nice one. Yeah. You too. He's big. You can make a nice sandwich with this guy. 
Or my pliers. Yeah, I sight fished him with the crab. Okay. Yeah, that's a good size, man. Yum. Yum, yum. Nice sheep set. You gotta get a measurement on it. I forgot my measuring tape. Do you guys have any? Oh, we probably got something here. Look at that guy. Nice sheep set. So the way we're rigging these fiddler crabs was the super small J hook, some 20 pound mono, and yeah, we're just sight casting them. Let's see if we can get ourselves another one. That was sick. Yeah, they're still down there. You just watch our crab, see if they come up to it. There's a dolphin that just came up literally right there. Let's see if he comes again up for you guys. While I rig up this nice fiddler crab. Where'd he go? There he is. Right down there. He's just chilling out waiting for you to catch something. Look at him, he's just waiting for me to catch another sheep's head. Let's see if I catch a sheep's head or if he catches it from me. I'm gonna try this spot again. And they're still there. Got one. Nope. <laughs> yeah, he's not as big as the other guy. I felt him pegging at it, let him swim around, and then he ate it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't. Aren't they so pretty? They are pretty. Yeah. Especially the smaller guys are prettier. Right, yeah. It's another sheep set. That <laughs> guy. Yeah, the smaller guys are prettier. Throw him back. Throw him in all the green bags. <laughs> Thank you. So what we're doing with these fiddler crabs, we're taking a small J hook, the smallest one I could find, and we're hooking it through the back here. It's through the back. Not trying to not trying to crack open the shell. We're trying to get to the other side without breaking everything, putting it back perfectly like that. See how it's hidden? We're trying to hide our hook as much as possible. See that? We're trying to hide it, keep it lively. Yeah. Let's see if we can do that again, guys. It's fun. Let's see if we can sight cast. Not sight cast. Let's see if we can sight cast another one. Oh, there's a big one right there. Big guy. Let's see if we can side cast him. Big guy. Oh, he's going deeper down. Let's see if he'll come up for this. Oh, he's, he sees it. Does he see it? Oh, no, he missed it. Does he have it? No, he doesn't have it. Let's cast it right back in there in the money zone. Oh, two big guys right there now. Two big ones. Come on, see it, see it, see it. Come on, come on and get it. Uh, they're hugging the pylon. Yeah, with this current, the crabs are just... Let's see if you can guys can see what I see. I mean, that is just insane, the sheep's head there. Oh, come on, right on him, right on him. Come on, take it, take it. Oh, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. No. Oh. 
right on him. Come on, take it, take it. Oh, he sees it. Is he gonna come and get it? I'm not, I'm just staying on the pylon. These guys are smart. Oh, one took it, one took it. Oh, got it. Oh! That was my last crab, too. No way. Oh. He's still down there like nothing happens. That sucks. That was my last crab. Here's the sheep's head that I caught on the pier yesterday and I'm going to fillet him and catch you guys after I fillet him. In his stomach. Look at that. Just a bunch of shells. In this guy's stomach. All these oysters. Yeah, that's what these guys feed on. So yeah, there's my there's the fillet. Here are the two fillets. I mean, not a professional. Sheep's head is also one of the harder fishes to fillet since they got this huge rib cage here. Like, massive rib cage. And they got very strong skin. So, that's why I didn't show my filleting process because it's a bit messy. I'm not the best. I still got some practice to do, but yeah. That's the sheep's head, those are the sheep's head fillets, and yeah, show you guys the final pro product once I cooked it up, seasoned and everything, so catch you guys later. So, so here's the finished product. So I just, I just pan fried it nice and simple. I put some Old Bay, some, some salt and pepper, of course, and yeah, that's the... That's the sheep said. Just got some salad, some nice peppers on the side. First, we're just gonna put some lemon on it. And also, we can't for forget the chicken, the Chick fil A sauce. Everything tastes better with Chick fil A sauce. Nice and flaky, look at that. Let's try a little piece. That tastes really good. Gotta try one more piece. Look at the flake on that. Beautiful. Really good. Sheep said is really good. If you guys want to see more catch and cooks, like this video. I think I will be doing more catch and cooks in the future. And yeah, if you like today's video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna finish eating my meal now. So see you guys in the next video.